Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing alive every day. This is Keep the Faith, a daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist on Raja Katipuna. Remain still as we welcome the light of the Word in our hearts. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Keep the Faith, the daily celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits here on Raja Katipunan. Today is the Friday in the second week of Easter, the 12th of April, 2024. Our presider for this morning is Reverend Father R.B. Hizon of the Society of Jesus. Let us all rise as we sing the entrance hymn. Entrance Antiphon, you have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, have made us a kingdom, priests for our God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As in every Eucharist, we gather and are gathered to be nourished, to be fed and forgiven, that we might in turn nourish feed, and have the courage to forgive others. You are mighty God, your Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you worthy prayer, and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Grant this, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up and ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, the Judas appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him. But he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ, Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, one thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. 
The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have even a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, then said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? And Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined about five thousand in number. And then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they had wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw this, saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. You have, um, as far as we know, duplicates of something similar, a multiplication of loaves, of food, of fish, and the feeding of a multitude. Um, there is one account where you have 4,000 in Matthew and in Mark. And there you have seven loaves and, se and several small fish. Um, in the, an account that you find in all four Gospels, you have uh, the feeding of the 5,000. And you have an overflow, if you will, of uh, uh, 12 baskets full. No? And, and you find these conflated in art. Yeah. In any case, uh, what is peculiar to John is for him, this is the institutional narrative. This is where, uh, this is where you find the Eucharist, and and uh, it's impossible to miss. In, in the words, he gave thanks, from which we 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 have the word Eucharist, Eucharistine, when he gave thanks, and uh, and so many explanations too are are brought forward or at least explicitations of what could have happened. Certainly you had the feeding of so many from so little. And, and, and so you have a miracle, an astounding sign. On the one hand, there are those who say, Jesus did change the bread and the fish, whatever amount there is. From a few pieces of bread and a few pieces of fish, Somehow he changed those, multiplied them so that thousands were fed. A change, a miraculous change of bread and of fish. Another rendering of the same account would be that 
Jesus when he had this meager supply, if you will, of bread and fish and start that he had not only changed the bread and the fish, but changed the hearts of men and women so that when they saw Jesus uh, giving out, giving away food, they themselves, with all their provisions after having traveled far, began to share their own meager resources. And so what you have is a change of hearts of men and women who had little for themselves, but because they gave, so many benefited from the meager things that they had. On the one hand, the change of bread and fish. On the other, uh, change in the hearts of men in both characters. What John offers here is this little detail about a lad, which I think is beautiful. A lad who had provisions for himself. He must have been poor. Accounts tell us that bread made from barley was the cheapest variety available at that time. And probably pickled fish uh, to last for a journey. In any case, from the little that he had was wrought um, this feeding of so many. Whatever account you find yourself or whatever explanation you find most meaningful for you, I'd like to think that this account, and certainly the Eucharist, you, you find the Eucharist here, uh, is to ask ourselves, you know, with, with the little that I have, or with, with whatever I have, wherever I, wherever I am, uh, in, in whatever little acre of God I am allowed to till, are, are people less hungry? Are people nourished? Are people fed? Are people forgiven? because I am there. Amen. Jesus multiplied loaves and fish on the mountain to feed the hungry multitude. We pray for the needs of the hungry and the poor, as well as those who have a little too much to eat, and for the strength to come to the aid of everyone in need. Let our response be, Lord, give us our daily bread. Lord, give us our daily bread. That the ministers of the church may feed without fail the people of God in the table of the word and in the table of the Lord's body. We pray, Lord, give us our daily bread. That government and civil agencies may attend to the people's need for food, shelter, and security. We pray, Lord, Lord give, give us our daily bread. bread. Like the boy who offers five barley loaves and two fish, may we be generous with our little resources, which the Lord will multiply to answer the needs of many. We pray, Lord, give us our daily bread. As we pray for those who are hungry, may the Lord touch our hearts and open our hands to feed them. We pray, Lord, give us our daily bread. May we thank the Lord for the gift of food that restores our strength for those who work to produce what we eat, and for those who prepare it at table. We pray, Lord, Lord give, give us our daily bread. For those celebrating their birthdays, Maria Angelita Aguirre, Rosalie Sally Divino, Terry Maglayo, Geraldine Ann Divino Lobo, Dr. Bendel Rosario, Miki Lichauco, Livon Kailao, Bing Benin, Amvic Garcia, Philip Ko Unvieng, Donabel Sa Sales, Menchu Henson, Paula Poblada, Chichi Laperal, Juntan Gatue, Mila David, Victor Alimurung, Mac Torres, Silvia Lontok, Anna Braganza Uy, and Doctora Angelita Aguirre. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. For the healing of Faye Imbala, Sherry Ocampo, Annie Hizon, Michelle Salvador, Abby Puno, May Sines, Estela Garcia, Karina Ali, Seth Virgil de Jos, Tisha Aganon, Joaquin Armando Patawaran, Melanie, June, Mikey, Celia, Mara, and Alma. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. For the repose of the souls of Gina Olaguerra Hill, Bridget Ann C. D., Rads Potenciano, Bishop Vincent Kennelly, S.J., Butch Araneta, and Marnie Ocampo. We pray. 
Lord, give us our daily bread. For the special intentions of Nina and Gig Anuver, Jopi Badoy, Gigi Carlos, Dodi Reyes, Linda and Ted Ferrer, Rose Gonzaga, Nightingale Keys, Reg and Didith Rodrigo, Bebot, Miko and Maki Areneta, Dennis Tan, Marlon Imbala, Jana Lucas and Mateus, Violet, Faith Keeper Flower Ladies, Marie Keys and Family, Elo Santiago, Nathan Hans, Annie Bautista, Mendoza and Pineda Family, Mike and Milan Pineda on their wedding anniversary, Rachel Singian, Felici Silayan, and for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Rajo Katipunan. We pray. Lord, give us our daily bread. Father, open our eyes that we may see the deepest needs and hungers of men, women, and children. Give us the generosity that welcomes the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, and all those who suffer in any way. Grant this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please all rise. Friends, your offerings have been given. Our simple table is set. Pray now that your sacrifice and mine may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Grant this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown wide open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has arisen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the spring of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, at the end of the meal, he then took the chalice filled with wine, and once more, giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Onesto, our Bishop, with all your priests and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pause for a moment now to remember and pray for those we love, those we know who have passed away. Welcome them, O God, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Ignatius of Loyola and Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so with courage and affection we now pray. Our Father, our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress, as we await with joy and hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, it is my peace that I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her the peace, the unity of your kingdom, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the peace that can only ever come from the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other now some gracious sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, we know, we believe that this is Jesus, this is the Lamb of God, this is he who offers himself to us, not as a prize only for the good or the perfect, but as a healing remedy for all of us who are weak, and as true nourishment for all of us who grow thirsty and hungry. And so, blessed are we now, invited to receive him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen.
communion antiphon, Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Have a good day. Serve